I'm Bridget Bardo, for all you know, your girl behind the counter. And do you know that I have a massive list of films to watch on my phone? There are about two lists, and somehow this was on the list. So you have here, Kitty Kitty, to thank for this recommendation. We're gonna be talking about Singapore Sling Baby. And if you are unfamiliar, then uh, strap up, Buckle yourself in, boys, girls, and everyone in between. We're in for a wild ride in extreme cinema territory. We're driving ourselves straight into some trash, but also let me reassure myself that it's classy because it's in black and white. And also, before we get started, dear, dear people, trigger warning, all of the triggers, all of them. If there's a trigger you can think of, it's probably in this movie, so uh, be forewarned. I am old McBridget, I've had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, here, trigger, there, trigger, everywhere, trigger, trigger, what the fuck is this movie about? Let's get started already. Anyways, what the fuck is this movie about? So, there's a man, he's looking for his long lost love, Laura, and he lands on the doorstep of a mother and daughter who have like recently lost their chauffeur in a, uh, mysterious accident which they know nothing about so as he passes out on their doorstep they're like opportunity and of course he's in for a uh, interesting time let's just say and two little fun facts before i start this review off properly the first one is you know the mom in this is also the mother in Yorgo Lanthimos' A Dog Tooth, which is another piece of extreme cinema, which happens to be one of my favorite films. So I'd like to believe that there's a Greek agency who's typecasting this woman as like messed up Greek mothers, and I love it. Second one being, we're we're gonna talk about the least best kept secret on YouTube. This film is available in its entirety uncut on YouTube, uncensored. And the reason why I'm looking at you in the eye is because we're all gonna be cool about this, right? Right, guys? We're all gonna be cool and we're not gonna go and like censor the director, right? <laughs> Anyways, we're all cool here on this channel, so I don't need to give these kind of warnings. So let's talk about the stuff I do like in this film. So starting with the stuff I do like, if you wanted a movie that was absolutely buck wild and artsy, eh, you know what, I think we're the best type of people. Screw everyone else. This is the movie for you. You're welcome. But in all seriousness, I can't believe I'm going to talk about the lighting in Singapore Sling, but it's actually really quite good. There's a reason why I put that up there as a visual, and uh, it's because they're trying to reference film noir lighting, I believe, in the fact that it's like black and white. There's a lot of like deep, dark blacks and like grays and whites being kind of played with as opposed to like color or anything else. And honestly, it makes this seem like a really fucked up film noir. And also it's the way that this movie is just set up and the premise of it just makes it seem like a fucked up film noir. But just keeping going on this tangent, I would say that the strongest thing that this movie has going for it is its visuals. So going into the set design, it is impeccable and it manages to create tableaus that are absolutely gruesome and beautiful. And either way, they're incredibly visceral. And that also really even translates into the costuming because they're very iconic and they're very beautiful looks, to be honest. I'm trying to kind of replicate one here. I don't know how well I'm succeeding at it. I would say impeccably well for the wardrobe I have. Either way, these are very well thought out outfits and are able to really create like a mood for the mother and daughter. And finally, I didn't know where to put this in terms of stuff I like. I am a sucker for like inappropriate things playing at inappropriate times. And the soundtrack is pure gold for like inappropriate things playing at inappropriate times. Anyways, let's talk about the stuff I didn't like so much. So starting with the stuff I didn't like, I would like to put a little bit of a caveat before going into this section, which is my views of this film do not reflect my views of the actresses involved. 
I think that they did a great job with the material they were given. That being said, I don't think it was perfect material. And you find out later that at least the mother goes on to do a better perform a better performance, I believe, in Dogtooth. But that's just my personal opinion. So getting into the brass tacks of what I didn't like, it's kind of the story. I found Singapore sling to be a bit unfocused and slow. And that's not because I don't like extreme cinema. I think some of the best extreme cinema manages to weave in its shock value into the narrative and it doesn't get in the way of the story. It just melds with the story to the point where the two are un unlinkable. I just wasn't 100% invested in this as I was with like a good example of an episode I did on one is Mermaid in a Manhole. That links it up very nicely, but also even in a Serbian film or Sallow, both of these movies manage to go and weave in their shock value along with their pretty visuals, along with, of course, core story. Manja! To the point where the three things are just untangleable. And just on two weird nitpicky notes, the first one is these do not look like a mother and daughter. That's a lie. Bullshit hour. The second one is Meredith Harold as the daughter hits the part of my brain that makes me want to like rip out my own hair with her baby talk. That's just me. I genuinely like for some reason, like women and baby talk just hits the part of my brain that makes me want to take the shoe and throw. I don't like the baby voice and that's just on me. Anyways, Let's give this sucker a score. Ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between, I am gonna rate this shit in Kiwis. And if you watch this movie, you're gonna figure out why. So I will give this movie significant props for its visuals. They're impeccable, they're beautiful, but I gotta dock points for a week story. I just have to, this isn't as fun to watch as some other extreme cinema. But that being said, it's not a bad watch. And overall, I'm gonna give it three Kiwis out of five Kiwis. And I'm just gonna say, if you watch it on YouTube and you don't have a ton of expectations, I think you're gonna have a really good time with this. But if you're like me and it's been on your list for forever, I think you might be, you might say in the end, I'm glad I found this on YouTube. Anyways, I'm Bridget Bardot, for all you know, your girl behind the counter, and I talk about movies you don't give a shit about. Like, follow, subscribe for even more movies you don't give a shit about. And of course, follow me on Letterboxd, I'm Bardot, for all you know, and follow me on Instagram at officialgirlbehindthecounter, and I'll see you in the next one, Counter Crew.